Today I'm going to be talking about the guy game. If you like beer, say hell yeah. Hell yeah! If you like boobs, say hell yeah. Hell yeah! Hi, I'm Leah, and I'm a gamer girl. The guy game is the ultimate party game. It's obviously aimed towards guys. And I won't deny it, I've had this game at a few of my gaming parties. It's a perfect mix of traditional drinking games and drunk college girls on spring break willing to flash a camera. I'm not quite sure if the point of this game is to be president or if it's to see tits. The guy game is filmed before a live audience of really horny people. Either way, you end up with a fun night. This game is really simple, and that can be a good thing, because for the most part, you're going to be drinking while playing this game. This might help explain the game just a little bit. Hey, you players, it's time for the most balls-out, exciting party game ever, the Guy Game. The game that challenges you to compete against one another for the top spot while working together as a team for the tops off. Laugh along for four rounds of fun and battle for your ranking. And remember, respect the president while you beat up on the asshole. Do your part to fill up our flash meter and see more skin. I'm your tour guide, Lucky Lacey. I'll be helping you throughout the game to show you what's what, but I can't do it alone. To give you all the world's best play-by-play, -play, we have Steve and his partner, Dick, keeping you abreast of all of the on-screen action. And last, but certainly not least, the unflappable host of the guy game, Matt Sadler. When it comes to having spring break hotties flesh their goods for the camera, he's the man. Now, let's play the guy game. There are four rounds in each episode. The first round is the four play round. You're asked six different questions. Like how many calories are a teaspoon of semen? Or how many letters are in the alphabet? And there are four possible answers. Then they ask a girl on spring break the same question. And then judging by her reaction, you have to guess if she got it right or wrong. You win money for right answers and you lose money for wrong answers. The person with the most money is the president. The person with the least is the asshole. Well, it looks like we're going to skip round two and go straight on into round three. No one in this game has got any balls. I think we're all just a little bit anxious to see some more titty. Well, I can dig that. The second round is the balls round. And this is an optional round. You can turn it off at the beginning of the game. If you're just playing to see boobs, you might as well skip this round. All it is is for bonus cash. There are three choices. Ball shots, balls in, or balls out. The president gets to choose which one you play. The third round is the titwits round. It's the same as the foreplay round, except for instead of guessing if she's right or wrong, you have to guess what she said. There's only two options, but it can still be hard. At least you're guaranteed a flash out of it. Let's get it on! The final round is the hottie challenge. You have to be super stiff to be able to do the hottie challenge. If you're not super stiff, you have to start the episode over again. In the hottie challenge, the girls have to compete in different tit jiggling races. Like jump rope or sack races. You and your friends get a bet on which girl you think will win. And then you just sit back and enjoy the race. The girls will get a head start or time bonus if they decide to compete topless. Since the flash -o meter is history, it's all about racking up points and watching unobstructed flashes. You can't beat that with a stick. No, you can't, Steve. And believe me, I've tried. The flash -o meter is your biggest enemy in this game. You and your drunken buddies are going to have to work together to fill it up. The fuller it is, the less censoring it is. As soon as you're super stiff, they're topless. This can be difficult because this meter is filled up by you guessing right answers with what the girls are going to say. The winner is announced after the hottie challenge. The winner is the president. The president is the one with the most money. So it's not necessarily the person that picks the right hottie. After the winner is announced, the president gets a dance from the girl that he chose at the beginning. This game is so much more than a titty game. It's also a drinking game. The president can make typical drinking game rules while playing the game. Like if you say anyone's name, you have to drink. A few beers and you can really change the outcome of this game.
I'm going to take this moment to answer a few questions I know that I'm going to be getting about this review. Isn't this game demeaning to women? No more than any other type of porn. It's their choice, they wanted to do it, so hell, why not let them do it? This is an actual game show. It was filmed in 2003, spring break. All the women that were involved in this knew what they were getting the footage for, and they were competing for money in this. So, it's a win-win situation. They got money, we gotta laugh at them. Where can I find this game? This is a bit older of a game. It was released in 2004 for PS2, Xbox, and PC. So it's a little bit harder to go get. Also, there was a lawsuit filed four months after the game was released, which makes it even more difficult to get. What's a really cute thing he can say to get you in a conversation? My overall opinion of this game. When are they planning on making a second one? Personally, I love this game. I think it's a great game to have at any boys' night or even girls' nights. However, you really do have to be accepting of perverted games if you're going to enjoy this game to its fullest. There's no questions about it. There's a lot of pervs that went out and got this game when it first came out. I love the teamwork involved in this to get to the fourth round. I think it's a really good challenge. You can play this game by yourself, but you'll feel a little dirty doing it. This game is definitely a multiplayer game, and the host, Matt, is hilarious. The commentary is really funny. Some of the girls' answers are pretty funny, too. My only major concern with this game is that it can get overplayed. Once you've beat an episode, it's kind of pointless for you to play it over again. You already know what the girl's going to say, so there's no challenge to it. There's 20 different episodes, so it does have a fair amount of gameplay, but it's still a rather short game. There's also bonus videos that you can unlock, and pictures as well. Meet Matt is my favorite. This is my job. I'm about to get into the shower, and three girls are going to lather me up. The question they've just asked is, do we want them to wear their tops or not? And as God is my witness, I have no idea what to say. <laughs> I can honestly say that I learned a few things playing this game. It might just be pointless random facts, but I was still learning playing this video game. Overall, I give this game an A-. If you like the looks of this game, make sure you sign up at my website, GamerGirlsRock.ca. I've posted a full uncensored episode of this game in the adult section of the members area. I'm planning to do this for the whole game, so make sure you sign up.